Hello and welcome to all you Leos. This is your monthly horoscope for Leo for the month of June of 2021. In general, of course, take what resonates. It's for the Leo rising signs, ascendant, the sun in Leo to a lesser extent the moon in Leo. So what's going on? Overall, for the Leos, um, it's, it's not really the most significant month of the year because there are not happening key uh, things in key areas of your life except for mars mars is as from the 12th of the month and onwards mars is shifting towards the sign of leo and that is good especially for those leos who have felt a bit on an energetic level a bit like that it's a good sign it's it shows more energy more uh, drive to get after what you want, you know. So that is a very positive thing to start this reading with because this is very significant for you. So for new plans for the future, new things that you want to take on your life path, which is Mars in your, in your sign, you can do that definitely this month and preferably after the Mercury uh, retrograde is done you know, um, which will be on the 23rd, 24th of June and onward. So it's better if you want to sign contracts or if you want to take big decisions in your life, it's always better to do it after the retrograde um, and even after its shadow period, which, in your, uh, which is uh, around the 8th of July. Of course, we can't postpone life because of a retrograde, right? So we have to take into consideration that if we take big decisions before that, there is a possibility that we will have to reconsider um, some stuff or fine tune the contract or reassess it in a way. And that's fine too. I mean, it's not the end of the world. But uh, very good news for those of you, especially who are finding themselves a bit low in energy, that there is a bit more a boosting up uh, of the energy and especially also in connections and relationships where you have difficulty with um, or really a challenge with drawing the line in the sand or with saying no for some people. This is going to be easier when you have Mars in your sign. So um Take that opportunity. If you think that with important people of your life in your life, especially in a relationship, in a in a love relationship, in a romantic relationship, when you feel that you're giving too much, you're not receiving enough, it's the time to draw that line and to say it and to speak about it and to act upon it, to say, look, I've had enough here. I'm I'm because you've got Mars in your sign. You've um a very we always say Mars is about doing. And to, a, to an extent, that's true. But having a strong Mars and a healthy Mars is also not doing. It's also saying, no, not going to do that. Um, you cross the border here. I'm setting those boundaries. So for those of you who've been uh, really in relationships that you've given yourself away too much, it's a, a wake-up call because you're going to feel either so frustrated and going to burst, have those outbursts, um, of saying, you know, this is enough. And um, it is, and on another level, it is good to start like um, when you want to work out and you, 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 you've been wanting to do that for a long time. Well, Mars in your first house is a good time. Okay. So after the 12th and onwards. And um, because it gives you that drive and especially in the beginning, you need that because you have to keep on going. But also for other plans in your life, when it comes to your work, when it comes to certain connection, it's the month of doing now. And uh, especially towards the end of the month, because we also have that eclipse. An eclipse is the, the sun. In this case, it's in Gemini, which goes well with your energy. So this eclipse is actually really in a positive uh, energy flow with your uh, energy. I mean, Leo and Gemini, they work well together. And this is happening in quite an enjoyable house, which is the 11th house of the future. It's the house of your aspirations, your goals, the goals that you're setting out there for the future. And also your friends, uh, the connections that you have with like-minded people. And um, uh, But also the aspirations. Now, on the 10th of June, it's that eclipse there with the sun and the moon together with the north node. So that means new beginnings, new friendships, new connections, new goals. Uh, that can 
come up. Um, as this eclipse belongs to the start of cycle 5 naught, it's an eclipse that has to do with vision. And it has to do with, I have a certain vision and I can act upon it. Now, the thing is, this eclipse squares up to Neptune. So a square means a bit of tension there. And Neptune has to do with fogginess. It has to do with parallel universes. So you get the picture that you're going to have quite a lot of ideas there that are a bit up in the air. And ideas around what? Around your friendships, around your connections, around like-minded people, around associations, around goals for your future, whatever it is for you. Maybe you plan to, I don't know, you want to do X, Y, Z, you want to do a new job, a new home, a new house, whatever, uh, a new business, all these things, it's good to think about it, but in this Neptunian kind of way, and especially with the Mercury going backwards and forwards there, it's absolutely not clear. So don't expect it to be clear, except the, the, the energy of the universe that is giving you parallel universes is making you crazy every now and then because of that, because you have like so many ideas probably, but the trick is to not act upon it immediately, just see what they're doing, to observe them, to go with the flow a little bit and see how it works out, but ultimately to take action uh, later on towards the month when Mercury goes direct again. So when the clear, the clarity comes up a little bit more, especially when it comes to investments and money that you share with other people, there is some caution here that needs to be done, especially during the, the beginning of the month up until like the 24th of the month, it's a bit tricky when it comes to investments, when it comes to investing with money that you share with other people. So be aware of that. It, it's not necessarily a bad thing, but there are some things that you just don't know. There's a, there is information that you lack at that moment. So don't be blind. Just be with the feet on the ground and you'll be fine. Um... So that's more of a money thing, actually, that that is a bit, you know, take a little bit of caution there. But again, it's not the key areas of your life. It's not going to ruin the whole the whole your whole life. Right. Um, Venus is in your 12th house and uh, for the whole month it's in cancer and it's in the 12th house. So that energy can be as it makes quite a lot of as good aspects, especially on the 4th of June and on the 22nd of June. These are very dreamy days for you because it trines Jupiter, it trines Neptune. So when you're single, for instance, this could be that you have like a crush on someone and you're still preparing yourself for some action towards the end of the month. Um, and that's fine. There is a bit of longing in, uh, at a distance there. Or when you are in a relationship, it could simply mean that you just um, take some time off for yourself and, and uh, not like isolating yourself, but just having a bit of a me time there and enjoying what you love to do there, reading a book or making uh, a long uh, walk uh, at the seaside with your dog, for instance, and enjoying that. You know that it, Venus in the 12th is quite... Uh, enjoyable when you can apply it in that kind of way. It can also mean uh, Venus in the 12th like doing some charity work and uh, uh, really enjoying that. So it's it's rather as it makes it makes good aspects there as well. I don't think it's going to be that you know uh, negative uh, that Venus in the 12th which can be possible when you know Venus in the 12th is about doing things behind the scenes and you know it could mean love behind the scenes but again not necessarily uh, especially not uh, this month with all these good Jupiter and Neptunian aspects so having said that that is a bit the most uh, important here uh, enjoy that make some time for these uh, ideas for your future it's a very future oriented month for you it seems like nothing real is happening but that's not true um it's like the preparation is as important as the doing uh, because the better the preparation is the better the doing is gonna be right having said those wise words i'm gonna stop this reading thank you so much for listening and see you next month Bye bye